Well, a very good evening from Phuket, and tonight I'm taking you down to my favourite burger joint. So come on, let's go, because I'm absolutely starving. Well, we've just arrived down at the burger joint. Now, it's probably not what you're expecting, and no, it's not the 7-Eleven that's right behind me. In fact, what it is, is a little burger cart to my left-hand side, and the guy who runs it is called Mix, that's M-I-X, and it's called Mix Burgers. So we're gonna take a look at this, and this guy used to work for the Boat House hotel over in Qatar but unfortunately due to the current situation of course the hotel closed and Mix lost his job then he decided to open this little burger stand I'm so glad he did to be honest because he produces some absolutely amazing burgers at some incredible prices I have been posting in my Facebook group so if you haven't joined my group do join it because there's stuff in there that I don't feature on the YouTube channel but I've been pushing this guy quite a lot on my group because his burgers are simply delicious no other word for it and he's the cheapest guy on Phuket Island that I can find up to date. So we're going to go across now and take a look. Sweaty cab? You okay? Yeah. How are you? Very well, thank you. Let's show the menu first. Now, I don't know how well you can see that because the lighting's not great here, but I'm just going to quickly run down the menu. It's not a massive menu. He does a pork burger 45 baht, a beef burger 45 baht, and a chicken burger 39 baht. Now, I know what you're probably thinking, you're probably thinking that the beef burger's Thai beef. Well, in fact, it's not Thai beef. This guy actually uses Australian imported beef for his beef burgers, which is just incredible when you think it's 45 baht for a burger, and then he does an egg burger at 25 baht. You can have some extras, so you can have it with an egg, you can have bacon, you can have cheese, you can double it. Um, and he's also started doing French fries as from today actually, because it's, it's funny he should actually start to do it today because I've been saying to Nat for some time, I wish he'd do some French fries and they're actually on the menu. So I'm gonna be having French fries. I'm gonna have a tri triple beef. Yes, I know. <laughs> I'm gonna have a triple beef. I'm gonna have bacon and cheese and an egg on it as well. That's just informed me she's having a beef burger as well with an egg. I think she's only having a single one, but I'm gonna be a little bit greedy tonight because obviously I'm doing the filming. So I wanna show you what he does. And that's why, <laughs> uh, no, I'm having my triple beef burger. So there's also a, a little stall next to him selling hot dogs and uh, all sorts of crab sticks and fish balls, chicken balls, all sorts of things as you can see there, Nat getting in there and ordering some extras. So we're gonna be very full tonight, I'm sure. I'm okay, because I'm having a triple burger. So let's now order some burgers. Mix, can I have a triple beef with egg, bacon, and cheese? All together. Yeah. So the full Monty tonight. And can I have some fries as well, please? Okay. Nat? But well, it's his beef burgers that I particularly like. I have tried his pork. As you can see, he's using fresh mince, not even frozen. And this is imported Australian beef. So fresh mince. He's got his own recipe for his burgers and they are absolutely delicious. Now, normally I only have a double, but because I'm filming tonight, I thought I'd go a little bit crazy and have a triple. But his doubles, he only charges an extra 20 baht to double your burger. So 45 baht for a beef burger. And if you want to double it, it'll cost you 65 baht in total. So he's got those burgers on the go now. Oh, I'm getting really hungry. I can just smell it cooking now. Now, of course, we do have other burger places on the island. We have the KFCs, the McDonald's, the Burger Kings, and we also have some custom burger places 
There's the Big Boys Burger in Camelot. There's also the Five Loaves Burger in Phuket Town. But you won't find anywhere as cheap as this. And it really is staggering considering what he does here. I've seen Nat's just come back with some Pepsi. So of course he doesn't sell any drinks here, but there is a 7-Eleven right next door. So if you want a drink, in my case a Pepsi, Nat's had a water, but you can go in there, help yourself to a drink, and then you've got burger, fries, and a Pepsi. What more could you ask for? Well, I'm ready to eat, so I'll catch you once the burgers are ready to eat. Oh, here we go, here we go. Excellent. Lovely jubbly. Thank you very much. Cobb and Cap. Okay, there was a little bit of confusion there on my burger because normally I don't go as mad as I have done tonight. I don't normally order a triple, but I thought because I'm doing a little bit of filming, I would go that extra bit. So I've gone the full Monty. I've got a triple beef here with bacon, cheese, and an egg. Now, <laughs> he'd forgot the egg. So we're going to take a quick look at this burger and what a monster and when you consider the basic burger is just 45 bars and then to double it and triple it it's going to cost you an extra 20 baht per patty i think you just can't go wrong to be honest he does his own sauce he's got his own mix for his mince as you've seen the mince is all fresh as i've mentioned it's australian imported beef he does do pork which i've tried and is also very very nice not there devouring her burger. She's only had the single, but she's had it with an egg. So now, I'm sorry, but I'm gonna have to eat because I'm absolutely starving. Well, please excuse me as I took into my burger because I'm really looking forward to this burger. I've been looking forward to it all day. I've only had breakfast. Nat's been very busy today within the business. So we've both been doing stuff. I've been working on video editing and stuff all day. So let's now eat. <laughs> Oh wow, I am seriously full. I've just got a few chips to eat, but I finished my burger and it was absolutely delicious. If you're coming past here from Shillong going towards Railway, I will put a map link on where this stall normally is situated. But if you're coming past here, I strongly urge you to come in and try these burgers. For this sort of money, you are going to find it very, very difficult to beat these burgers. They are really delicious. Well, there you go. You can see why this little burger stand is one of my favorite places for burgers at the moment. Well worth coming down and checking it out if you're in this local area. I will put all the details in the description down below, so go and check that out. I'll try and add a map link as well to where it is, but it's very, very easy to find. We're on the main road from Shillong to Rawai. It's just before the very large macro and literally on the car park of a 7-Eleven just after the massive big super cheap. I want to do a series of these videos, shorter videos. I know tonight's not going to be a very long video because there's only so much I can talk about on a burger stand, but I want to do a series of shorter videos on places such as Mixed Burgers. There's another place that does banana fritters and it's an old couple that's been making banana fritters for as long as they can remember. And they have a queue, people queuing up to buy these fritters in the afternoon it's not far away but it's only a very very small stall at the front of their house and I can't really make a really long video about it but I want to do a series of short videos and this is the first one featuring my favorite burger place I hope you've enjoyed this evening's video and if so please do give it the old big thumbs up well as always thanks for watching and until next time you take care and I will catch you on the next one